Okay, I'm going to unbox this package I got from Amazon. It's got a battery charger in it, a LiPo balance charger. And I always do this just to make sure in case there's any damage that I have proof of it. Or things missing. But according to this, there's only one thing. There shouldn't be anything missing. Well, it's packaged better than most. It's actually some heavy duty plastic. Ugh. Super multi charge. Okay. All right, I'm going to open it up real quick, see what it looks like, make sure there's no damage to it. Instruction manual. Come on. It's in a bag, that's good. Everything that they package it in is good. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I guess that's just a film covering that, I hope. All the buttons seem to click. That's where you plug your batteries in. That's where you plug the power in. Comes with a power cord and adapters. Hopefully I have the right one. Chances are I probably don't. Okay, let's say you've been charging your batteries with the uh, Turnigy Quickie. Quickie uh, it's not really quick. It actually takes six, four to six hours to charge one of these. Uh, it's a cheapo, cost $12.99. It was a step up from the first one I ordered at four something that blew out and ruined one of my batteries. But anyway, toss that aside for now. Uh, I ended up, if you ever use one of these, you know that's all you have to do is plug your balance lead into there and it trickle charges the batteries. It really doesn't balance them at all. Actually, it unbalances them over several several flights I've noticed that uh, my batteries got out of balance big time really bad to the point where one of them this one right here actually had a cell drop below three volts on a flight and uh, when it when I brought it back in to charge it it would make this thing right here these lights right here they flashed red and when that happens that means the cell has gone and it's because of this that the cell was gone, so it was like a catch-22. But anyway, what I did is I bought this good charger. And there's a lot of people out there that when they buy these, they don't understand how it works. And I didn't at first either. Um, it's not like the other charger that I was showing you, that where you can just plug it in and then go and charge. And you know, this is easy enough to figure out, believe it or not. The menus are not that hard. It's it's difficult because the man <laughs> the manual comes in Chinglish. It is the worst worst manual for a device of, of this caliber that I've ever seen. It's the worst <laughs> just the worst Chinglish I've, I've ever read. Anyway, you can't you can't make heads or tails of it. So you have to either look up something on YouTube or figure it out yourself. But anyway, what I ended up doing is I realized. That if you just plug that in, then turn it on, you get something called a connection break. And if you don't know what that is, you think it's broke. Okay, you think the damn thing's broke, you jiggle the wires and you mess with it. That's all it really means is you haven't hooked this part up yet. With this kind of charger, you have to hook up this to that. <laughs> yeah, that's news, huh? Okay, anyway, the way I got around my problem, they didn't give you a good enough connector, really. They, they didn't give a this kind of connector so all they gave was a bunch of mumbo jumbo for smaller batteries and weird off the wall stuff that nobody uses except for maybe you know specified like a parrot drone or something I don't know maybe they got a connector in there for that but they didn't have anything for your normal lipo battery connection so I ended up getting this alligator clip and I guess this is called a T connector this these came with it so this is all I had to work with Anyway, what you do, first you plug it in. You plug this in first. Then, what you do is you plug your balancer in. Then, well, I didn't plug this in, let's just say it is. You have to be careful and make sure you get your polarity right. 
black on black and red on red and so forth. But what I like I said, I ended up sticking these uh, alligator clips in the holes. And it actually worked out fine. Now you have to make sure when you're doing this kind of stuff that you don't let these two banana clips touch or you're going to short your battery and probably start a fire or whatever. But anyway then, after it's turned on, you plug that in. You probably should do this ahead of time. Plug that into the balance port and then you plug first your hot in, then your black in, then you go and you can hold your, after you set up your lipo charge, you set up your amps, I set mine up for two, could make it 2.2 with these batteries, that's what I recommended, but I, I just did it at two. Then you set up, you know, your voltage, you gotta make sure you got a 3S charge going, it gives you all them choices, and after that's all done, you hit, you hit start. And enter. It's the same button. Hold it down. It'll beep. It'll uh, do a battery check. Then it'll ask you, do you want to stop? And you skip that. And then it'll ask you, do you want to start? And then you hit enter again. And bam, it starts working. And boy, I'll tell you, this thing balances good. Um, it took the out of balance battery. With a little bit of work, I got it balanced. It wasn't that hard. Uh, I, I set this up the same way. And I put it on NIMH instead of LiPo. And that doesn't have a safety feature. You can just go ahead and trickle charge. I put it at 1 amp. And I charged it for about 2 minutes. And that brought this one dead cell over 3 volts. It took it to 3.1. 3.01 it took it to. And then I started charging normal. For lipo, and it, I believe it or not, within 10 minutes, this thing was like a brand new battery. So that's the secret to the. Let's say you kill a cell. You set this on NIMH at the lowest possible setting. Feed your dead cell to the you know, five minutes at a time. You can keep checking it with your voltmeter. As soon as you're over 3.1 volts on that, or 3.3 .3 volts on that cell, you can plug it into your regular charger and it'll charge.